So it's happened to all of us. You're trying to get on a website, you're trying to view an article of your local hometown newspaper online, and suddenly ads are popping up everywhere. You have pop-ups popping up, you have ads all over the page. It makes it hard to read. This isn't just local news sites, it happens everywhere. People are trying to maximize revenue online, and because of that, it affects the user being able to read and maximize their intelligence by obtaining information from said article. It's annoying. Well, I have a way to fix that for you. I'm Jason, and I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to get Adblock Plus. Now, it might seem kind of counterproductive, but Adblock Plus, it's going to block ads. Now, the software I'm going to show you to get today doesn't just block ads. It protects your privacy. It protects you from getting cookies. If you don't know what a cookie is, it's a way like Amazon.com might install a cookie to your browser so they can see what other websites you, what websites you browse, what products you look up on other sites, so they can offer you a better deal. Most notably, this happens on airline tickets all the time. Do this. Reset your cookies, and you'll find the airline tickets are a lot cheaper because they see from other websites you visit or from their website previously that you are inclined to pick a certain date so they can raise the price up on you. That's not fair. And it's also not fair that these websites want to blow tons of ads at your way that are annoying and out of the way. Have you been on Facebook recently and seen all the ads on the side? And sometimes they, they can be kind of offensive, they can be obscure, and sometimes you just don't want to see them. So I'm going to show you today how to get Adblock Plus. This is a pretty nice program, pretty simple to do. So let's move over to the computer, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so we're at Google. First thing we want to do is we want to type in Ad Block Plus. That's all we want to type. We type that into Google, and the first one that comes up under the website adblockplus.org. Surf the web without annoying ads. Now we're going to click that. Now it talks about how it's going to you know stop things. It's going to stop even on Facebook and YouTube pop-ups, video ads. But I want you to notice something. You see, you see where it says right here. Obtrusive ads aren't being blocked in order to support websites. What does this mean? Well, what it means is it still lets you support a website. Websites make their revenue from ads. You don't want to stop that. You want to give revenue to the people who create content. You just don't want to be annoyed in the process. What this does is it creates it so the ads at the top of a website aren't taken away. They still allow, web allow that website to receive profit off those ads. What it does stop is all those annoying ads that if you accidentally click on one of the words in an article or the ads between the article paragraphs, things like that, it gets rid of those. So it's not just a get all of ad you know, type of program because websites have to exist. And for them to exist, they have to have revenue coming in. And let's be honest, most people don't donate. So for all these places, getting ad, um, ad revenue through online ads is the only way they survive. We're not trying to stop that today. What we're trying to do is to stop the ads that annoy you, create pop-ups, slow down your web browsing experience, and also allow cookies to be installed to your browser so they can get information about you to charge you more on a product you want to buy. So let's do it. Let's go back to the computer. Now you'll notice when you go to adblockplus.org, it will automatically analyze and figure out what browser you're using. For instance, right now you can see I'm in the Chrome browser, and it says install for Chrome. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to press the button install for Chrome. And I'll show you how easy this is. Look down here real quick, though, and you'll see it supports a whole bunch of web browsers. Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, Firefox. I mean, just a whole bunch. So anyway, it's going to pop up here and say, Add to Chrome, where you can change your data. We're going to click Add. Very simple. It'll take a second. <laughs> it's loading. But one of the things that's really nice about this is it makes it easier to browse websites. Okay, here we go. Adblock Plus has been added to Chrome. Use extension by clicking on the icon. Okay, so then it actually confirms it says Adblock Plus has been installed. Now to show you, it's up here as an extension, and we can actually go down to settings. We can go to extensions, and it will say Adblock Plus, and it says enable, so we know it's there. Well, let me show you. If we go to Google, and we type in toys, Sorry. Type in toys. Do you notice how that ad is still here? Right? Seems kind of strange. The reason the ad is still there is because, like I said, it doesn't get rid of all ads. It keeps the ads that are not obscuring your view. 
it puts them at the top of the page. It keeps the ones at the top of the page because they're not bothering you. What it does do is get rid of the ones that may confuse you. Have you ever been to a website before trying to download a file? And that file has a download button, but right below it is a big green download button. For most people, it's confusing to understand what button to press. And this is the idea. The ad companies want to make you press on the ad to make you think you're downloading the program. That's not right. It's not fair. What Adblock Plus does is it stops that. And when we want to be in more secure online, protect your privacy, Adblock Plus is a great advantage to have. So go ahead. Go get Adblock Plus for your browser because I assure you, you don't like those pesky ads. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.